The CDC and FDA just issued a joint statement recommending that pause. The agencies say they're reviewing six reported cases of a rare type of blood clot in people who have received the vaccine. These cases have been reported in women between the ages of 18 and 48. Health leaders say these adverse events appear to be extremely rare. The Tampa Greyhound track is one of our local federally supported sites that has stopped giving out the Johnson & Johnson shots. They tell us what they're doing and where those are going. We just want to make sure we're looking at all the data, all the information out there to make sure it's the most uh, it's the safest that we can have out there. As of right now, the direction from you know the state and federal partners is the vaccine will go back to our county health department um, and they'll be the ones that will be storing and kind of responsible for it during this operational pause. Nearly 7 million doses of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine have already been given in the U.S. CBS News medical contributor Dr. David Agus gives you a sharper insight into how soon after getting the vaccine people may see these symptoms and what to do if you experience any of them. All of the cases happen 6 to 13 days after the vaccine and they noted pain in the abdomen or pain uh, headache and that caused them to go to the hospital. Five of the six were treated efficiently, were treated differently than the average blood clot because here platelet counts are down and you have to give a special drug that reverses it. You have to monitor yourself and if you have any symptoms where you have pain and it's unexplainable, go to an emergency room right away and doctors around the country are now aware of this and they know how to treat it. The FDA has launched an investigation at this point. Now, tomorrow morning, there will be an advisory meeting to review these cases. Now, there are other places you can go to get a Pfizer or Moderna vaccine. Today's the last day you can get your second dose of Pfizer at two of the FEMA sites in the Tampa Bay area. The satellite sites at the Larry Sanders Sports Complex and the Oakland Community Center will close this afternoon at 5 o'clock. If you went to one of the sites for your first dose and you still need a second, you can go to the Tampa Greyhound track or Raymond James Stadium without an appointment. You must bring your CDC vaccination card to get that second dose.